The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. <clears throat> At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. A tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The devil then took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All these I shall give you, if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> For the past few weeks and on Ash Wednesday, our Gospel came from the Sermon on the Mount. In the Ma Gospel of Matthew, there are four stories that come before the Sermon on the Mount. The first three tell us that Jesus is the Son of God. There's the genealogy of Jesus, the birth narratives, and the baptism of Jesus. And in the baptism of Jesus, it is said most clearly. God says, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. The fourth story the one we just heard, is the temptation of Jesus. Jesus was tempted to doubt that he was God's beloved son. The temptation was very similar to the temptation we heard in the book of Genesis. They, the temptation there was to doubt that God loved them. God must not love you. If God loved you, God would want you to have this knowledge. They gave in to the temptation and ate the fruit. It seemed good at the time, but it meant the loss of paradise. Jesus was tempted to doubt that he was God's beloved son. The temptation was to use his power for his own benefit rather than to do God's will. The Son of God should not be hungry, so turn those stones into bread. The Son of God should not be poor. Here's all the wealth of the world that could all be yours. The Son of God should not have any mishap. He should be saved from any mishap. So test to see if God's watching and will save you. Jesus likely faced temptations like these all the time. What Jesus could have gained may have seemed good at the time, in the moment. Food, wealth, saved from injury, popularity. <clears throat> But Jesus refused to give in to the temptation. He trusted that he was God's beloved son and that nothing he experienced would ever change that. 
whether he was full or hungry, he was God's beloved son. Whether he was rich or poor, he was God's beloved son. Dashing your foot on a stone is the equivalent of stubbing your toe. Even if he had some mishap, large or small, he was God's beloved son. That trust allowed him to choose to do the Father's will. And he opened for us the way to eternal life. He opened the way back to paradise. We face temptation all the time. The temptation to doubt that we are God's beloved sons and daughters. The temptation comes at us the same way it came at Jesus. If you are the beloved, then you should have everything you want. Use all your resources and all your gifts for your own benefit alone. Jesus tells us, we are God's beloved sons and daughters, and nothing we experience will ever change that. Whether we are full or hungry, whether we are poor or rich, even if we stub our toe, we are God's beloved. And like Jesus, we can choose to do the Father's will. We can share what we have. We can be merciful, forgive, and serve others. We can share the love we have experienced. We can allow others to experience God's love through us.